Hey friends, welcome in. We're here today with a, an Aquarius reading. I don't really want to call it timeless because I wasn't planning on doing a reading at all today, but I was sitting there meditating with these Oracle cards and the new moon card came out. And I know we're having a new moon coming up soon here in Aquarius, I do believe the ninth. Again, I am not an astrologer, but for some reason when that card, you've got to be kidding me, but <laughs> look what just fell out. The new moon card and, and the shadow card also came out before that's now on the bottom of the deck. So needless to say, here I am with a reading. Um, I can say this, new moons are, I believe, about new beginnings. And I want to say that this new moon is going to be asking us to think about like our community, where we're headed, our values. If you're an astrologer, please comment below, straighten my explanation out because I'm sure it's off. Um, in fact, I would love to be able to find an astrology page I can send you guys to or recommend to you. But with that said, now that we have gotten double confirmation on that, let's see what Spirit wants to say to us about what's coming during this new moon. For the Aquarius Collective, what do we need to know, Spirit? I'm seeing the Hierophant, and I know our last reading yesterday had a lot to do with considering our values and making changes to said values or considering changing. Let's see, what's Aquarius' a central issue here? What do we need to know? Okay, so we've got the chariot coming out as the central issue. Ten of cups on the bottom of the deck. So definitely seems like there is some reassessment being done. We are now steering ourselves in the direction we want to be going. Maybe as opposed to the direction that we've been told we should be going in. And again, that tracks back to the last reading. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. But it looks like we're, we're heading towards fulfillment in some way, shape, or form. We're moving. We're making plans here. We have the Queen of Cups coming out in the recent past. So this is a receptive energy, right? This is like us being willing. This is us having our heart open. Having, a, having an open mind too. Being somebody that's compassionate and caring. And maybe in our past for some of us here that outlook has kind of gotten us tread on a little bit let's put it that way and now with the chariot card coming out i feel like this is you bringing out more of who you are so you're saying to yourself yeah i see the ten of wands here so we have this card, this caring, compassionate person who probably has been through the thick of it because they're so caring and compassionate. And it's been a heavy burden to carry. But now we're finding ways to move forward and really put down our own path, find our own path without having to get rid of who we truly are. Realizing we don't have to change who we are to be successful, to find what we want in life, to have the fulfillment we're desiring. We have the Five of Wands coming out in the near future. Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So we might be having some trouble expressing ourselves. We might be having some trouble. Again, I feel like this really tracks back to the last reading we had. There's something about moving on, moving away from a situation or towards a certain situation. Take it as it resonates. And there being some type of a conflict, either internally or externally for you, because of this choice to really not change who we are, but maybe accept more of who we are and head in the direction that we're really feeling called to go in. And I mean, that would be expected. I, for most people, I think. When we make really big changes in our li lives, even though it shouldn't really affect anybody else because they're our lives, right? I feel like because of envy and jealousy, most times 
people will try to hold you back. People will be like, well, are you sure you want to do that? Or, you know, it causes like a rift in a family or something along these lines. I'm seeing you standing up for yourself though. Let's see what's crowning you. We've got the Six of Pentacles crowning. Yeah, it's like we're balancing out our emotions here because I'm seeing the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So you may have been emotionally confused about taking this, taking on this new change, this heading in this new direction, but I'm seeing we're kind of grounding that energy and we're, we're balancing things out here is the way that I'm reading this. Let's see what's in the foundation and then we'll clarify a few things for you. We have the Page of Cups coming out in the foundation. Now we have the Page of Cups and then we have the Queen of Cups in the recent past. So I feel like this is you kind of growing as a person. You're growing in this loving, caring, compassionate way, okay? We're, we're moving forward. Wow, my hands are shaking so badly right now. <laughs> uh, usually that only happens during the personals. So this might be very specific to a small group of you. But basically, you're maturing in your sense of understanding your own compassion, understanding who you are as a person. And you're moving forward to what's going to bring you joy. And... You may have thought in the past that maybe you had to be more, more, you know, like the Queen of Swords or more like the King of Wands or more like this or more like that. But what I'm seeing here is a growth pattern. I'm seeing us coming into ourselves and I'm seeing that bring with it some external conflict. It could be an internal conflict. For most of you, I feel like this is going to be an external conflict. I'm going to, oh my, I'm going to take the bottom four out here. We've got the star, strength, the hierophant, and death. So very similar to the reading that we had yesterday. We're healing on some level. We're merging together aspects of ourselves and making them play nice. We're releasing something. I feel like that was a foundational structure in our lives in one way or another and this is leading to a major transition a major transition but you're moving through this transitionary period with hope in your heart with your head held high despite the fact that we have whatever this is we're going to clarify this right now and see what's going on with the five of wands show me this five of wands oh so we've got the Three of Swords coming out. Why the Three of Swords? And the Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's like this. It, you're moving on to something and this is going to cause certain people to feel like maybe they're being left behind. Like maybe you're choosing to prioritize juggling one thing over juggling something else because we can't handle everything. For a lot of you, I'm getting the vibe that this is about, again, people being jealous, jealous of your time, jealous of your attention. It's like this. It's like, you know, maybe you start, you decide to start your own business, okay? Well, in order to start your own business, you really need to learn that business if you've never done it before. You know what I mean? And I feel like you're trying to step into this in a very fair and just way, but the people around you are seeing this as almost an attack on them personally because maybe some of that attention that was being given to them is now being put towards helping you achieve what it is you want to get out of this life. And that's just not fair. So if you're going through this, 
or you are considering making a move, but you're worried about how other people are going to react, know that spirit sees you're doing the best you can to juggle everything. But these people's emotions, these people's thoughts, feelings, actions even with the wands, like that's a physical manifestation here. That's on them. And I mean, I hate to sound so blunt about it, but we can't tiptoe through life avoiding making these gigantic changes that are coming through for us, these opportunities that are opening up for us. We can't just ignore them to try and keep others happy with us. I'm gonna do a quick next step because I wanna try and get some advice for you guys with this situation. I mean, I can give you my advice, which would be, like I just said, their, their emotions are their problem, but let's see what spirit has to say. What advice do you have for Aquarius spirit? I can't believe that new moon card and the shadow fell out again. Oh my goodness. And you know, there may be some shadow aspect with the strength card coming out. We might be, again, like really finding a part of ourselves that maybe we kind of banished a long time ago because of how we were brought up or because of other foundational structures in our lives. And we're finally learning to accept that part of us and finding the good piece in that. So this is... I feel like you guys are going to be having a massive shift coming up soon. Next step, we're starting out with the Five of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Again, I feel like there are people who are going to be feeling left out in the cold and in a way judgmental of the fact that you're really rising to the occasion. For some of you, these people are going to be feeling hurt and they're going to be trying to step into this very forward kind of king of swords energy, this very aggressive energy. But it's kind of like saying the reason, the reasoning for this aggression is because of this underlying sadness that they're feeling this underlying feeling of not being worthy of your time your attention when that's not even the case you know i've seen nothing here about you aquarius being that way we have the six of cups coming out in the recent past here there's definitely a connection to childhood, to your early life. There's something, there's like a big shift here that's coming through. And again, astrologer, astrologers, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that this new moon, this cycle that we're going through tracks back to something that happened with Uranus in 2018. I want to say I read that. So maybe this is something coming back up. We're revisiting this part that already kind of occurred we got a taste of it multiple years ago and now it's coming back around for us to finally take action but again correct me if that date is incorrect show me the near future please the near future we have the four of cups coming out and there's that five of wands again oh no that's the seven of wands so this is the after tarot but look at this fighting this person's just trying to protect themselves. And I'm seeing you be like, you know, if if you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. I'm moving forward. I'm moving on up. We've got 10 cups out here on the table. You guys aren't letting anything stand in your way. It's coming for Aquarius. The chariot again. And this is crowning this, this king of wands in the five of pentacles. So I really feel like you've, 
wanted to say you've still got your chariot running. You don't start a chariot, do you? Okay. <laughs> you're, but the chariot is waiting for you. So you're on this journey. And whoever these people are that are trying to bring you down or suck the joy out of this for you, you are ready to move away from that energy. You are not going to be taking the time to, to deal with it. You will walk away and you will be just fine doing so. And maybe that is part of this change too. We're shifting from, there's the Queen of Cups again in the foundation. We're shifting away from this kind of idea that because we're the queen, we're in this Queen of Cups energy, because we're kind, compassionate, nurturing people, we it's okay for us to kind of be walked on, walked over in some way. Um, and that's just simply not going to be true anymore. You guys are stepping into your own power. And I do feel like there is a connection or some type of growth cycle that you're, you've been going through here for some time. And we're really releasing everything that no longer serves us and it feels like the people that around you or even, you know, jobs, people, religious affiliations, whatever you've got going on for yourself, anything that no longer serves you is going to kind of be showing its hand. So like, for instance, you, if you've been dating someone and you've kind of been having thoughts like, oh, well, maybe they're not right for me because of this, that, or the other thing. This, that, or the other thing is going to start coming out in a big way. They're going to show their hand no matter, and this isn't a love reading, so this could be financially. This could, again, could have to do with your work. For a lot of you, I feel like this is going to have to do with family in some way, shape, or form like a long-standing family issue and they're going to see you moving forward, taking action and they're really not going to like it. But I'm seeing you be okay with that and I'm seeing you move forward anyway. You're not letting anything hold you back, Aquarius. So the new moon is the 9th, I believe, so two days from now. Again, astrologers, if you're out there, comment below and let me know if I got that correct. But this new moon, I feel like, is bringing about the impetus for a major change in your life, guys. And it's, it's a big change in a good way, in a beautiful way. So that's where we're going to leave it at, guys. I'm glad I came on here to do the reading. All right, my friends, I hope you're well. I love you all so much. I hope you're all having beautiful days and I'll talk to you again soon.